So good evening. Today we have a little setup here in the kitchen and um, I got a new machine that is a precision dispenser and I can dial in here the diameter of the syringe we're using. I have water in here right now and with this we have a 0.035% accuracy with this unit here. I have set this to four milliliters per minute and I have hooked up this unit here and we will see what this looks like when the valve is fully open and then you will see here what four milliliter per minute actually looks like it. The four milliliter per minute are from the 1986 to 1991 4.2 and 5.6 liter. The earlier versions M116 and M117 Jetronics, they will use six milliliter per minute. So they were able to cut this by one third basically. And what this looks like it, I'm gonna show you now. There is a delay uh, until this comes out here. Never mind my kitchen. But you can see this and you will see that this is not calibrated for water at this point. This is the unit with the sapphire. So we're running exactly at four milliliters per minute. And we're seeing a flow rate of about, it's in the middle of the sapphire of about 29, 28. And this is what one four milliliters per minute looks like it. This is how this goes into the injector, just that you have an idea. So I can adjust this here, but since it is not fixed, it is very difficult to rotate it. I just have that standing on that glass for the moment to demonstrate it. Uh, let me just show you. We're gonna show, change this now. We stop it and we set press and wait. And now we go to six and this will be six milliliters per minute. This is for the early version. You can see the sound changed a little bit. And now we're coming up. So it is exactly, uh, it bounces a little bit. Probably about 39, 38, somewhere in that range. And you can see this, it is dripping faster. So this is your fuel flow at idle in each injector out of the fuel distributor. This is how small this is. And now we can actually, now I have a unit where I can actually calibrate these things too. So I know exactly what then I'm adjusting the fuel distributor to. And um, eventually we will get us a digital flow meter, something like this here. But this one here is not sensitive enough for what we want to do. So we have to get one which has a higher resolution than this here. This is basically a digital output, five volts supply, a ground and a signal, a pulse. And this will give you one pulse for every 4.29 milliliters. So depending on your flow rate, you will get more or less pulses per minute or in a 10 minute period. At this rate here, since the syringe has 60 milliliter capacity I have in here, this will run for about good 10 minutes. And you can see this, I'm not even in 50 milliliters yet here where I need it to be. And uh, so that's what that looks like. It Just to give you an idea, let's just say the maximum I can do with this unit is 25 milliliters in this precision. Let's just go to 20, 20 milliliters just to have an idea of what this looks like. It Now you can see how the ball is coming up. Yeah. So 20 liter, 20 milliliter per minute is right around 108, 107. But you can see this now it drips much faster. So this is how little fuel goes through these systems. And you can imagine if you have any pollution in there 
or uh, you know residue from ethanol and that sort of stuff on how difficult this is going to be for this to actually meter and, and this it always takes a little bit when this comes back up here we're going now to about 28 that's where we were at at four milliliters per minute and here comes our drop so you can imagine if you have the slight misses if you're missing one of these drops in one cylinder when that is sprayed out uh, then you're gonna have a rough idle there's no question about it so this is how precise this whole system is and with this unit now here I cleaned it up today I got it of eBay for 100 bucks and checked everything out it works flawless and it is fully uh, self calibrating so you don't have to do anything I measured the uh, syringe out with the caliber is more precise the caliber is is more precise you can put the diameter in millimeters in here and uh, this then that works even better but this is how accurate this is and if I turn my light on I hope we're not gonna get blinded here it might be a little bit too much but you can see this with the background it's almost too much for the camera to pick this up but of course, when you look at it with the naked eye, you can see the scale much better on how it goes up. But this is basically on how they work. And with these here, with this system here, I can actually test the Bosch uh, 200 and 300 units and see on how far out of calibration they actually are. And uh, what you really need to do is to use one of these digital sensors which have a high resolution when you adjust them when you rebuild the distributor and when you adjust them i will design the circuit board for this here to hook this up and then we have a accuracy from the system of 0.035 percent tolerance uh, for the fuel distributor rebuild that is possible but i just wanted to show you guys this here there will be more videos coming I'm going to do this in um, uh, as part one, two, three, and so far and so on as we go along and build this whole system up. But this, I just wanted to show you on how accurate these units actually are. The scaling here can be adjusted uh, with the uh, knob here. And like I said, but this needs to be in a fixture so you can carefully rotate this and the thing doesn't wobble. With that, you have a great night.